So funnel hacking is described as the process of strategically investigating the sales and marketing process of your competitors, which you can use to model and test within your own sales and marketing process. Now, in the real world example of this, what I find really funny is that there's a story, um, and I forget the exact details of the story, but or the the exact uh, 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 facts of the story. But there was a guy he worked for uh, Wendy's, and he made, uh, you know, I would I want to say it was like two hundred thousand dollars a year, and some and and his job was to find locations for uh, Wendy's locations. And so he's being interviewed. They said, so how do you go about doing the research to find a new location for Wendy's? And he said, well, what I do is I, uh, I, I open up a map and I look at where there's a McDonald's and I put one right beside it, right? So that was like funnel hacking, you know, in the real world, right? Looking at, okay, well, McDonald's has already proven that this location is a good location, so we'll put one right beside it, right? So... Uh, so yeah, so now what we're doing that is in the online world. So what you want to do is you want to first, you never want to start from scratch. Anytime you're going to build a funnel, I want to back up. Our first thing I recommend is that you focus on selling your ebook funnel, right? So find clients where you can just build out the ebook funnel because it's already done for you. The whole process is already there. You already understand it. It's a very simple product where you can just sell that all day long. You could build a six-figure business just selling ebook funnels and that's it. But if you want to get into building even more funnels and you want to get into more funnel hacking and that sort of thing, that's, that is what I do. What I would do is research uh, another company that's already successful with a funnel. And when I look at the page, I look for some information. So I found I found these bullet points on the ClickFunnels blog. I just Googled, you know, funnel hacking, went to an article, and these are some of the points that they mentioned that you'd want to look for. So first of all, what type of copywriting are they using in their headline? Right? What colors are they using and where? Are buttons located above or, or below the fold? Do they have videos or do they, do they use just text? Are they listing benefits or features or both? Do they have social proof? What is the offer? That's the big one. What is the offer? That's really what I look for. What is the offer? Is it low cost or free? You're going to notice that most front end offers um, aren't going to be like a high. You're not going to start an offer with, hey, you want to buy this $1,000 thing, right? You're going to start with something free, like a opt in for a free webinar, opt in for a free ebook, opt in for a free consultation, right? Or something low cost, like, you know, pay $29 for, you know, this new new uh, fitness program or pay $7 for this new this video training, that sort of thing, right? The next thing here is looking for, are there pop-ups anywhere inside the funnel, right? Is the header section of the site fixed? What that means is, uh, does it move when you scroll down? Does it just stay at the top? Or when you scroll down, does it scroll with you? Is there a full sign-up form or just an opt-in form? So how much information do they ask? How many fields are they actually asking in their funnel? Is there, um, are, sorry, are there uh, multiple steps to take and how many steps are there, right? Go through the entire funnel. Like even go to the point where you actually buy the product to see the entire funnel and the back end. Are prices mentioned for their products? If so, what are their price points? How many words are there on the page? Is it short copy or long copy? So these are some of the things that you want to look for when funnel hacking, right? I will typically, the main thing that I want to know is what is the offer and I want to look at the overall layout of the page and, and try to diagnose the psychology of the marketing on the page. All right, That's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, Ralph mentioned that limiting beliefs are real and powerful. Absolutely, yeah, I 100% I uh, totally agree with that. I was just comparing it with like assumptions in the business world that I was talking about. But yeah, I totally believe in uh, limiting beliefs, so like a million percent. Um, all right, cool. And then now Ralph also mentioned something about a program called The Foundation. Um, I'm actually in contact with the people from The Foundation uh, recently. I've been chatting with them. Uh, so it's a program that helps you actually build a technology company. And they also have a very similar, um, very similar uh, process here. I'm pretty sure they use the Lean Startup. So what I want to do now is go through a live demo of doing what we call funnel hacking. And uh, we have uh, Kelvin here 
who has volunteered, I've asked him to volunteer, uh, to work on his project that we've been working on together. So as part of the inner circle, I'm gonna help you close your first sale. And so uh, Calvin and I went through the entire sales process and we ended up closing the sale, uh, the first sale that he brought in. Uh, so the first prospect that he brought in, we closed the sale. So uh, Kelvin, you wanna go ahead and uh, unmute yourself? Yep, all done. All right, so uh, so Kelvin, so what I ended up finding was I ended up talking to someone else that owns a CrossFit gym, and Kelvin is going to be working with a company uh, that also has a, a similar gym, and we're going to be sharing this information. That's cool, right, Kelvin? We'll just share the information with everyone. Yeah, it's totally cool. Yeah, I think it's fine. So uh, the the company is called Pure Vibe. All right, and I'm just going to open it up here on our screen so you guys can see it. All right, so it's called Pure Vibe, and basically what this is is um, they have these vibrating machines, which, as you can see, is very hard on the website to understand what they do. But you see, they were actually on Dragon's Den. So this machine here, you stand on it, and it vibrates. And the unique selling thing, the unique selling proposition about this is that you can burn 600 calories in 20 minutes. Normally, it would take you an hour at the gym running, uh, anyways, uh, to to burn 600 calories. Okay. So as you can notice here, like it does kind of say that when you go into the copy, but it's not very clear, all right? So we really want to get out to people that, hey, instead of running for 60 minutes, all you got to do is exercise on this vibrating machine uh, for 20 minutes and you get the same sort of result. So you can lose weight a lot faster, right? So what happened was I was talking to a friend of mine. He owns a CrossFit gym and he was telling me about this offer. It was called the New You Challenge, all right? And so this is uh, an, uh, an offer that this guy here, I ended up doing research, so I, I pre-researched this, but I did maybe like 10 minutes of research to find what I'm about to show you. So it wasn't like, I haven't even gone that deep into this, okay? But what I found out was that the new you challenge is created by this guy here named Tommy Huckle, something, I can't even say his name. What is that? Uh, Heckenbrook, Heckenbrook, okay? So what I ended up doing is I did a little bit of research, found out his name, and uh, this podcast, by the way, uh, you should listen to, Kelvin. You should actually... actually. That's actually what I listened to. You already yeah. did? Yeah. How was it? Oh, man. First of all, it's like the audio was so bad on this Tommy guy's end. He was oh, just like God. using his cell phone. Oh, gosh. But it was pretty good. Like, he just... Uh, it didn't really talk much about fun. He talked about how the new you challenge came into fruition, or however you pronounce it. Um, how it can be and how it benefited a gym so gym can retain more people, uh, uh, retain more members in the app box is what they call it. You know, so it's more of like customer, uh, new customer acquisition and then customer retention. Excellent, yeah. Uh, my friend that owns a CrossFit gym, he actually said that they actually changed their model of how they intake new people on CrossFit. Usually you do your essentials training first which they charge 130 bucks for or something. Then you do like different intervals of training. They change it so all they're doing now is using the format here from this uh, the new you challenge. So, so it's good to get like a deeper understanding of kind of where where it's coming from with this whole thing because you can model this. I don't recommend copying it, but modeling it right. And then like googling his name, you can find much more information. You actually find out he's actually a CrossFit athlete. Uh, if you go here onto his Instagram. You can see he has a new year challenge, uh, CrossFit gyms, and so on. All right. And so like, I, I dived in, and you can actually find some of the landing pages here for the new year challenge. So I'm going to go ahead right here, CrossFit, six-week new year challenge. Right. And uh, right here, new year challenge, part two. Right. I mean, this is kind of, this is not a very good uh, landing page. But, you know, I can dive in even deeper. Oh, wow, the, <laughs> the link is broken. It must be an old page that we're finding right now. Um, but I'm just going to see what when the date is on this. Oh, it's from, oh, no, that says, that's different, sorry. Uh, yeah, so, so, you know, I dived in and I'm just basically clicking around and I'm looking at all these people who are offering. He basically invented the offer, the New You Six Week Challenge. Okay, or the six week new you challenge, something like that. So he invented the offer and what he does is he builds out the entire sales funnel for CrossFit gyms and all he does is gets paid per acquisition. Okay, 
So basically, he just makes, um, I believe it's, uh, I think he asked for $200. Yeah, so the, the program is $250. So I believe that he gets $200 and the gym gets $50, but they also get the customer for to upsell them and continue to keep them in the program, right? And so they, he doesn't charge anything up front and he takes care of all the advertising costs for the business. Right, so that's a different model, but it's a model that works for him because he's done it for so long, he knows his numbers, right? So he knows, so the guy that told me about this, he got um, 36 signups and he ended up paying the guy, it was like, I think 200 something dollars uh, per signup uh, because he charges the guy, he charges 200 US per signup. So I think, I can't remember what the numbers were exactly, right? But that's it. So it's because if this is like a high converting funnel and that's why it works, right? Uh, so I'm noticing these here are all sold out. So a lot of these are like expired pages that you have to kind of go in and, and try to find this. Uh, but I'm actually going to go in and find you the actual uh, landing page because I actually did find it. And I just have it here. So give me one moment while I actually pull this up. Yeah, I've gone through a lot, a lot of landing pages. Uh, CrossFit, fitness, and the two I found was UFC, Good Life, and and then pretty much the group on that you kind of recommended. So yeah, but I, I want to find the whole funnel for the six week challenge. Okay. So here we go. Here it is. All right. New you six week challenge dot lead pages dot co. I'm just gonna go to the page and see what's on this page. Oh, it just went here, so that didn't work. But here's the what the landing page looks like. He has multiple versions of this page as well. What you can see here, he has a video. You can watch the video, and you kind of you can diagnose the psychology of this video. He's basically explaining what the challenge is about, right? And then you're applying to be a part of this. You can see this is the whole landing page, right? He has one version for men, one version for women, and so on. So he's got a few different variations of this. Okay, we can go over here into YouTube. This is a private Hi, video. I'm Tommy Hackenberg, two-time CrossFit Games champion. Right, I can look here. Just, I'm just gonna see if he's got any, he, oh, they're all hidden videos. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So then if you go here to apply, check out the questions that he asks, very specific. These are very smart questions, by the way. I actually went through and read them. It's very interesting that he's asking. And so you're basically applying to be a part of the challenge. You see that? So they're not selling you yeah. anything. You're applying to be a part of the challenge. And uh, I forget what the stats were, but a certain percent of the people who apply, obviously you accept everyone who's you know appropriate, but then uh, the people who, who you accept, um, they're right now inviting them to come for free for, initial, for an initial session. I would think this would work better by charging a small fee. So they apply, they get accepted, they pay something because some people would come out and just think it's like a free thing, right? Because a free session, they just think the whole thing's free. So you want them to pay something. So I think it's really interesting to go to an application form, followed by you're accepted, now pay the $29 fee for your initial session. Then they get to the session and they get sold. So that's how this funnel is working wow. right now, apparently really well, right? So that's something that you can then go and, and funnel hack. So I'll leave this link okay. in the members area underneath the video. I'm gonna just throw this into the chat right now so you guys uh, can see it uh, if you wanna go and check it out. Right, so this is just an idea of what you can do here. Um, by and I would recommend going in, actually filling in the application form, going through the process, and actually funnel hacking the whole thing. Right, and now you kind of get a better idea of kind of what the landing page could look like. And if you dive in even deeper, you can you will learn much more. You'll see even more landing pages like this that he's running. All right, I just kept diving in and, and just doing some research here. Right here, register here. This one's a little bit different. A new me, new you boot boot camp. Um, it's a really weird uh, landing page there. Oh, this is someone with the results of the uh, new you. I see, I see. Right, so basically what I do is I click in and then, you know, I'm basically gonna find variations of the landing page. I know, I've learned now about this offer and the way I learned about it was just by talking to an owner of a gym, right? And I remember Roy, I know Roy's here. Roy, if you wanna unmute your mic. You know, Roy went in and did a bunch of research about the Groupon industry, 
right? And I was kind of talking to Roy a little bit about it, but he actually went in and started calling people who run Groupons and learning about what, you know, what they wanted, what they wish they would have got through Groupon, right? And Roy, if you're here, if you want to unmute your microphone, you can kind of share your experience of doing that. But basically the way that he learned about it was just by calling and just talking to these owners, right? And finding out what works, right? And that's the same way that I found this, right? I was just talking to a CrossFit owner and he was kind of telling me about this and I was like, wow, I'm like, that's really interesting, right? So I basically just go, I just clicked around just trying to find um, this whole, the funnel. You can notice that a lot of people here are actually running this challenge but not through him, which is interesting. I don't know what the legalities or rules are around this actually. There's a whole video right here about it. New year, new year. Oh, this is something different, but it's also called New You Challenge, which is cool. I didn't see, like, I actually looked up if New You Challenge is actually trademarked, and I did not see that this was trademarked, uh, which should be. He should have trademarked it. Yeah, I'm everyone's it. just calling everything new. Yeah, I'm actually curious if it actually is. I didn't look here, but because um, if it's not, he should first of all trademark it. But if it's not, then um, he could. Uh... No documents found, so I don't think it's. I don't think it's a trademarked uh, name because a lot of other people are using it as well. Hey, Roy. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Good. So tell us about your experience when you were just calling Groupon uh, people. Yeah, so, you know, I picked a, I picked an industry. I picked a, a particular type of business, escape rooms, and I went, okay, this would be an interesting business to market for. But they're all over Groupon. Every, every escape room is doing Groupon ads. So I wanted to know if it was working for them. Because if it is, Groupon's getting tremendous coverage. Yeah. So I, uh, I just started phoning them. I... Uh, I phoned East Coast because I could phone East Coast in, during the daytime. Uh, they, none of them opened until like 4 o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, and I just started asking questions. And yeah, I had to phone, I had to phone a dozen or so to get two or three people that answered that, that uh, had any knowledge that could talk about the, uh, talk about their advertising campaigns with Groupon. And, uh, and they all had very similar, all three of them had very similar responses, which is, they did it. It got them lots of lots of customers, but they wouldn't do it again. And yeah, it yeah. Was, it was in terms of the experience of doing it. It uh, it was. I got great information from them. It yeah. was fantastic. Yeah, just talking to people. It's amazing how much information that you can get. Absolutely. Now, right now, I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to go in and uh, register for this because I'm curious about this funnel. So, um, oh, they need my phone number. Rory, can I ask, you just said they wouldn't do it again. Did you ask them why they wouldn't do it again? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, their answer was um, the Groupon customers weren't really their target market. Uh, they they had much better success with people that were into puzzles and board games more than uh, the crowd that they got through Groupon. And the Groupon people, because they... Basically, because they had a viewpoint of they bought one cheap thing to come and try, they end up trying to use or using their group on on the on the complicated offers. So they didn't actually have a good experience at the at the escape room either because they they chose a complex puzzle when they didn't have the experience to solve the simpler one. So they they just had uh, a set of customers that had a lot of frustration and weren't likely to return. Yeah, and if you guys recall, you know, when I originally told you about Groupon at the market, I kind of mentioned that to you, right, Roy? Right, right? Yeah, you did. You said right. that, that generally speaking, you get, you get very new customers that are unprofitable because they travel, you know, wherever they travel from and to. Exactly, yeah. And, and they want their deal and they don't spend any other money and they never come back. Yeah, and, and the reason, the way that I had found that is because a long time ago, I used to be really into like daily deal strategies and I also did exactly what you did. I just called people who are running daily deals and I got the exact same sort of response. We also talked to Pure Vibe. They also had a Groupon deal. That's how Calvin actually found them and they also found that they were just were not getting very good quality customers as well, which is another reason why a lot of businesses don't like doing Groupon long term. 
Hey, I just want to mention, uh, you know, I, I, if you guys saw, I just registered for this and I was just kind of funnel hacking this. It was interesting how their opt-in form just took me right here to go and choose what day that I want my, uh, my, my sessions to start. Now it's asking for my email address. They use the software here called Woodify, which is the same one that the other CrossFit gym I talked to is also using, which basically helps them to uh, schedule uh, the sessions um, at the gym. So very similar to uh, MindBody. Uh, where uh, the uh, pure vibes using this, right? So we could probably find a page very similar to that where we just send them there to uh, to register. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious. So we've recorded this now. So Kelvin, you can go back and watch it. But I can see yeah. that page that I was just on. You know, I'm gonna back up here, right? I sent this to you by the way on, on Facebook as well, and I'll, I'll link to it yeah. um, underneath this video. But this is another variation of the page that could potentially work. I mean, we don't know for certain that this is converting high or anything like that, but it is a variation that you could try using, right? It's a, it's a more long form uh, sales letter, I would say, right? But it's very clear what it is. What's that? Do you, think, do you think this would mean changing the offer? from just like an initial one-time class to actually a six-week No, thing, so. no. You don't need to change the offer in this case because it's just, you could, in the future, we could change the offer, but I think we should first run with our offer that has converted before because it's specifically okay. converted for Pure Vibe before, before, right? Then, you yeah. know, we could def definitely be open to potentially changing the offer a little bit later on, right? Um, I do notice right. this one here doesn't even have like a location or anything like that, which makes it not a very good landing page, right? Because I don't even know where this place is. I guess it does. Oh, it says Houston. Uh, T, T, well, it's in Houston, Texas, because in, in the domain. But whoopsie daisies, didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, so that you should you need the address in here, right, and all that kind of stuff. But the other one too that was interesting was the application process. So I'd be very curious to test an application process to an opt-in that goes to Mind and Body to uh, pay twenty nine dollars right now. Those would be like three very interesting variations and see which one works the best. You'd basically be building like three funnels in one to test which one would work better. Application, opt-in, followed by scheduling the, the session and then paying, or the other option being going right to the payment so they actually pay on the page, which is the way you've designed it so far, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I tweaked some of my designs. One one of them is having the opt-in uh, and then going to pay to schedule. Yeah, yeah. So, I saw that. I'm just opening up your... Um... I can send you the new is this is this, uh, is this yours? PureVibeStudio.ca? <laughs> That's the, that's the uh, Groupon funnel hack. Cool, but you bought the domain, PureVibeStudio.ca? They have it. Who has it? Yeah, I used it. Pure vibe. It's their domain name? Yep. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, like this is like, yeah, the Groupon hack, which again, is probably gonna work, right? You could literally, like, I mean, there was a bit more to the Groupon one you didn't add in here, right? Are you still working on this or are you saying this is a finished product? Actually, no, this is the finished one. Oh, no, no, no. There, was a, there was a lot more information there, right? Like, if I go here, pure. Yeah, I, I copied everything. I don't believe you. Okay. Let's test the assumption. <laughs> right here, right? There's this yeah. whole whole body thing, uh, limited time, ratings, share the deal, all that kind of stuff, right? It all kind of went in this area, right? Up here again, five stars from, you know, whatever, right? You can add in just five stars and say, oh, you know, 385 people rated us five stars, right? Uh, right here, you don't need this thing, right? Uh, then you got here, what you get in the deal, it's all left justified, right? Right here, it's like all of a sudden it's centered, right? So you wanna copy this a little bit better, right? The deal, here's what the deal is, here's what it includes, right? And then, you know, this text is spread across the entire page, this one here, like actually copy the layout. You can't do this how I'm scrolling on the left and the right's, actually, I think you could do that actually. You might be able to actually do that on ClickFunnels. Um, it'd be very tricky. I don't think you should try to do it, um, but it is possible, but you can just make it so, pretend this isn't sticking and then you could scroll. 
Yeah. Actually, you know what? I think you really could do that um, with this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me message ClickFunnels support and ask them how to do that. Okay. All right. There's also here the map, right? Your map is over here. Their map is over there, right? So it's not exactly. I would actually copy it like a lot more, like specifically. Obviously, you not have all this stuff, right? You can also have a Facebook chat box underneath it as well, so people can ask questions, right? You can do that. So go ask ask us a question, and then embed a Facebook chat in there, right? Um, yeah, anything like that. So I would actually go in a bit more, take a few of these really good testimonials, actually plug them in here. Oh, you have a couple here right now, right? So that's yeah. good. Yeah. So have maybe a few more, but again, really go with the layout here. I actually like this one. Out of all the ones you sent me, I actually like this one the best. It just looks a little bit weird how, um, let me just see what's going on here. Hang on. Oh, there we go. That looks a little, a little bit better. So I was going to say let how. Let me send you a new one. Okay. Um, that I just made from based off good lives. Is that, is that this one here? Yeah. The one I sent you on uh, Facebook, Facebook, right? Facebook. Yeah. And you funnel hacked this page here, okay. Cool. Somewhat, just not the amenities. Yeah, yeah, I get it, yeah. Um, cool, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, actually, it's it's really good. I I dig this one. This one's the best. Uh, yeah, it's good. I I would I think you you could roll with this one for sure. Yeah. Give it a shot. Do they also make their it's things? Just, um, what I, the question I have is like, you know, when you're funnel hacking, see like for in, for example, Good Life's Fitness. They stated the amenities and all that, and I don't have that kind of content. Do I That's just, okay. Like, fill it in with other stuff, they're basically or? they're basically what they did here. The marketing psychology here is that they're added in the features, right? Mm -hmm. So you could do a little thing here because you know how there's all that stuff that's included, right? Right here. No, no, no sorry. Yeah. Where's the um, you know, in the Groupon mm -hmm. deal? It says right here, beginner vibe training, right? So you can create like an icon for each of these things, right? So what's included? And then you have one big box for this, 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 and this, right? You can create a five column row. So you're just taking the marketing psychology of it, not the amenities offer, but what's in, what's included in this offer. And then you like give a description for each one of those things. You don't have to design it like this. Like I don't think you can design this in Facebook. It'd be very difficult. Right, but you could just you know the same sort of information, right? Just put in a box and then have the text over here. So graphic box so they really see the value of it like when you actually get into this and you realize what you're getting here for 29 bucks like I think that this is very underplayed on this landing page you're gonna get beginner, beginner training session a vibe fitness class then you get a massage a body composition analysis right to see where you're at now and then a nutrition and lifestyle coaching right like that's pretty high value you could even put like a value like value Blah blah blah. One hundred dollars value. Yeah. Whatever, you know, like you could do stuff like that as well. I definitely think it's worth more than eighty nine. Exactly right. It is worth more than eighty nine dollars, right? So, so that's the thing, right? So I don't know if whether or not the value thing. I mean, that's something you could try, right? Another test, but for now, you don't need to do it, right? Because basically, we know this offer converts because two hundred and eighty five people took it, right? So, so yeah, I definitely like, uh, I like this one and I really like, um, sorry, I like this one and this one, this one, I just changed it a little bit more, like make it a little bit closer looking like the, uh, Groupon one, right? Mm -hmm. Um, like as close as you can, can get it to the design to start with, right? You need a bit more information around this area here. And then I think this one's good to go. What happens when I yeah. enter my name? What's the next step? Oh, nothing. No, no. I just created a landing page. No, okay. I just gotta create the steps. Did you did you so enter thinking, this? Oh no no. I'm I'm just talking about my funnel. Okay, but I'm just looking at what they actually offer here. So I'm gonna go here. 
we don't want to do that, but let's just go submit, see what happens. It just says thank you. Someone will call you. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already a member, so it's okay, but whatever, right? And then that's it. It just says, it basically just changes the top part to say thank you. We could do a lot better than that. We'll put a viral loop in there. But basically what you want to do is keep the design very much the same. And then in that thank you box, be like, share with your friends and you can win a free month, that pure vibe, blah, 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 right? And then have some share buttons right. on there, create the viral loop. So my plan is actually to have the opt-in, uh, collect that little bit of personal information. Then the next step would be the order page to uh, fill in, you know, fill in uh, the credit card information and pay the $29 and then go into the thank you page. So Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's every, right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Every landing page would be directed to the order page, the same order page and the same thank you. Do you think it's, it's uh, best? Or? Well, no, because you want the designs to be consistent, so you might need to have a separate design because we're doing three completely different designs. That's actually the strategy that we're using, right? Uh, we talked about it earlier. Right, but we want three completely different designs, so we can't have the checkout page look totally different. Now, if we just use PayPal, we just send them to PayPal, that would be okay. Because then we're just going to PayPal, they're used to it. But it looked like you were integrating with Stripe, which means that we can actually have the payment information right on the page. So, yeah, I mean, you could kind of create kind of um, a one page template for the order page, I guess you could, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Okay, hey guys, I had a quick question. It's yeah. uh, Abdul here. Just wondering, do you guys plan to split test these variations or the pages, or how is this going to That's work? exactly what we're doing. Our split test is to split test three completely different variations and then see which one works and then start split testing individual elements of the page. Got it. Because we don't know where to start, right? So we're going to make the guess of these three totally like one we know this works because groupon sells a lot it's all white very simple green button you know that kind of stuff right then this one here was based off of what good life did we don't know if this converts or not right we're just guessing right but it was also for a free offer in that case but it looks okay i'm, I, I'm okay with this design and everything here right what about the copy like on the top like get 67 percent off your new vibe transformation session yeah i think it's good yeah $29. it's the exact same offer that's here right which we already yeah. know we already know that converted so yeah i think that's okay. work yeah you did exactly you even put this little c there and all that you know so yeah i think that, that i think it's okay so again it's an assumption we don't know we have to test it but i think you're at the point now that i think that we can run it right the other thing i was going to say on this thank you page for this page what we can do is we can give them like homework Right. And uh, and, uh, you know, how I do that for my application funnels. So you can say step yeah. one, watch this video to learn what it's like to uh, be at pure vibe and then give them a video, a, U a YouTube video that they have that shows people working out. Right. Step two, you know, read this nutrition guide. Step three, I don't know, whatever, whatever stuff we get. You look on their website for some resources and they create sort of like a, uh, like, uh, you know, you basically pre-sell them before they actually arrive is basically what you're doing. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's cool. I think you are ready to like, you know, I would just edit this uh, this page here, make it look a little bit better, more like here, right? Uh, and then I think you should uh, make one more variation, maybe using the new you challenge layout. It would require a video if we were to do that. You could also do this other layout that we just found that I've cl closed now, but that one from Houston, Texas, use that one as well. Yeah. And then just show them the front end of each of these landing pages, get feedback from them, let them know kind of what we're doing, and then start building out all the thank you pages and the whole, the rest of the sales process. Gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, okay. it looks really good. Good awesome. work. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, sorry, quick question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, sorry, earlier you mentioned uh, about uh, uh, signing up for the Inner Circle Implementation Day was uh, posted in the group. Yeah. Uh, I've done a couple searches, can't find that post anywhere. Maybe I'm the only one, I don't know. Uh, I did a couple searches in the group, couldn't find that post. Did I miss the September one? I was hoping to um, register for the October one. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the, uh, the Inner Circle Facebook group? Yeah, that's correct. That, yeah, for that um, implementation. So it's right Circle. here. I'm going to close that. If you go right there, it's the first thing that you'd see. I can't close this yeah, right now. 
not popping up on my end for some reason. I don't know why I can't see that one. I can't. It's it's totally not. Uh, yeah, I, I, maybe you're uh, in the social media director group, not the inner circle group. That's why. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was the group that you were saying you're gonna finish working on this weekend. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. Not, this. The, okay. No, no, no. Right here. You're part of this uh, inner circle, right? I I hope so. <laughs> I think you are. I, I'm pretty sure you are. I'm gonna double check that you are. Oh, you weren't there. That's why. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, so now, now, now things will make sense to you. Yeah, yeah. So we have a separate group for the inner circle. Um, so now uh, you can go in there, and that's where I post all the updates about this session. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank so you, you just click right there. Go right here, mentioned. and this is where you. I sent you a private message. Um, uh, that uh, Calendly link you sent me. For some reason, it's not working. I sent you a screenshot. It just took me to an error page. Oh, interesting. Okay. I will. Uh, I'll have to go. I'll look into that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look into that. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, cool. Um, any other questions before we log off? I think I got a question. Yeah. While you were talking about when you say uh, for the minimal viable product, right? When you're building up to something really small scale. Yeah. Uh, at small cost, is it important to think about the copywriting as well? You know, like for example, your your uh, instant instant sales profit, or you know the four steps, right? Yeah. You don't know if anyone's gonna go and then did you, did you come up in advance of what were the main points you're gonna think, talk about, and did you invest a lot in copywriting to make the landing page uh, sell better for you? Uh, then no. You move on to the next step. What I did was I just whoops, I just typed the wrong address. One second. All, all I did was um, very little copy. Same with like your page, very little copy. Just this is the actual page. And I wrote out these bullet points of like things that I might talk about. And then there was a buy button here. This is join the waiting list, but there was a buy button. And then I had these testimonial things there. And uh, that was it. So really it was just this. When I first started it, it was just a title, a subheadline. Uh, these bullet points where we have like six, seven bullet points and then a button to buy and then the Shane Gibson thing and this and then I didn't even have this when I first launched. I didn't have all this. I think I had then this and then the PS and that was it. So there wasn't a lot of copy. So that's what I did is I basically released these bullet points and said, you want to come? And then people started registering. Then I went and secured the, the location and all that kind of stuff. Okay, nice. And I originally funnel hacked the layer of this and the marketing psychology of this from Frank Kern. And from there, I think that page is now down. I remember I had it here for a while, but I think he took it down. I can't scroll right now. There we go. Let me see if I can actually find it for you to actually show you what I'm talking about here. But uh, I think this was it. No, see, it's gone now. But yeah, it was a very simple page. Um, oh. Oh, it took my page away. Anyway, anyways, very simple page. Picture of him on the left, bullets on the right, and register, and that was it. Um, so yeah, I mean that's, you know, same thing with like with what you're doing right now, right? You're just basically, um, you know, coming up with very little copy here. You don't want a lot of copy on this, right? And you're just copying the copy from the previous offer they already had. You don't need to hire a copywriter at this point. But if they want to go and create like a sales letter and all that kind of stuff, then maybe you need a copywriter. But I think right now we're pretty good. Again, just copying what Groupon wrote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For a short like opt-in page, it's like kind of like less is more sometimes. You just want to kind of get the point across and get the opt-in. I have found that I get a higher opt-in when I have less copy. It just basically says, here's what you're going to get, opt-in, and that's it. I've seen people get like 50% opt-in rates with a headline and an opt-in form, and that was it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All right. But in this case, in this case, though, like I do have to explain a little bit more of what whole by whole body vibration training is all about, and just like the benefits of it. Uh, yeah, I think I think the whole thing about get losing 600 calories in 20 minutes, which is the equivalent to running for an hour, right? Mm 
Like, I think like yeah. that. I think that is like the main thing. If people understand that, people who work out know what that means and know that that is awesome. Maybe finding the actual proof of that, like where does that come from? How do they know that? Where's that research from? That'd be interesting to maybe like understand more about that. Like, how do I know they're not full of shit? You know what I mean? People might not even right. believe that. Isn't that, a, isn't that an assumption that needs to be tested, though? That he has to explain all that? What, what is? Well, he said he has to talk more about what whole body vibration is. But that's an assumption. Um, yeah, like, like uh, the as- assuming that I need to talk about what whole body vibration is to these people. Uh, I guess, yeah. I guess you could say. I mean, it's something you'd want to test. Um, it's not really an assumption, I think. Maybe. I mean, yeah, in, in a sense, it is an assumption, but I'm not maybe in the same sense because I think that uh, most people probably don't know what this is. And yeah, maybe that's an assumption, but I think it's also kind of true. I mean, there's only one gym in all of British Columbia, <laughs> you know, that does this, right? So it's very unlikely people will know what this is. Uh, so I think it's, yeah, okay, it could be an assumption, but it's also kind of like somewhat of a reality too that people don't know what uh, vibrating machines are or the benefits of them. I don't even know everything about it. I, I The only reason why I even know about this is I actually met the owners of Pure Vibe at a, at a, at a trade show like five years ago. And that was the very first time I ever saw it and they explained it to me. And then when I was at the White Rock Home Show, people were selling these machines for like at-home use. That was the second time I'd ever experienced it. Besides that, if I came to this page, I probably wouldn't know what that was exactly. I'd probably question that, wondering what that was. But it does explain it right here. Whole body vibrating machines allow you to start gently and progressively, blah, 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 right? So it, it kind of does explain it. The other one too is that Pure Vibe does have videos on YouTube, right? Yeah, there's videos uh, that explains the whole thing. Yeah, right? So maybe there's some short video. You can actually just use that. Um, I'm trying to find their YouTube channel here. I have not watched these videos. I don't know which one's correct, but you know, maybe like uh, one like this one. Pure Vibe Fitness Studio is so unique and so different is that you get a quick, efficient workout of these incredible life until I started. will be worth well spent. Yeah. Thing is a lot better. It's a little bit too long. I actually don't recommend using this video. The reason why is that we want to get that quick, kind of like uh, quick opt-in, right? Quick buy. This makes people have to think about it and stuff and say, you know, and it's also very much all girls here. So it'd be very much geared towards women. Feeling supported. Right? So I'd actually would not recommend using this video. We need more of like a more of a fast-paced kind of thing, right? Um, this is right. their the here is their uploads here. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's mainly like above a minute, and then even sort of short one that you see right there is just pictures. Oh, so they don't even say anything? No. Yeah, no, I wouldn't use that too. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's really. I think that little paragraph does kind of explain it, um, and um, yeah, again, you have to run it, run it, right? Like if this, I think this picture really explains it because they see it, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't think you should call this new vibe. I think you could even call this new you, new you transformation session. Let's go with that, right. <laughs> new you transformation okay. session. So that's different than the new you challenge, right? New you yeah. transformation session, right? And then you can come up an, another offer with a new you challenge, like. I mean, she well, I wouldn't like she if she wants to start using challenge in her marketing. That's a whole other thing. You you should chat with her about it. I wouldn't just jump on that one because this is just yeah. an introductory session, so she could sell them on a package, right? Whether she wants to sell them on a challenge package is is a whole other thing but it's not what we're selling right now but i think we do need to rename it right before it was just called an introductory offer so the new you transformational session that sounds a lot better than 29 dollar introductory offer right yeah 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 and i do think that this copy here kind of is okay enough to explain it 
it does basically explain it. So I actually like the copy you chose for the page. Uh, it's really good. I'm just curious about this whole 600 calorie thing and what research backs that up and whether it'd be easy to explain that on this page. Mm. You know what I mean? Like maybe okay. it's just too, I don't know. I, I just ask her what that's about. Be like, where did that come from? Like, how do you measure that? You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't even know yeah. how they measure how you lose calories in the first place. I know nothing about <laughs> about this shit, right? Like when I'm running on a treadmill and it says that I, I lost 100 calories, but like based on what? Like, I don't know. You know, so that's yeah. what I, you know, so whether, maybe it's not even necessary to explain that, but I do think that that is a big benefit statement right there. I'm going to quickly interject here. I, yeah. I actually, as a fever, I've, I've been to Pure Vibe. In fact, Trevor's wife recorded their last video and it was oh, me right. in it. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so, um, I don't think women, we don't care about the factual stuff. We just read it and go, oh, that's awesome. What, what do you mean? Like you, what, what part the of it do you think is awesome? Calories, like, of course we know it's not, it all depends on your body type. Like, but it actually, this is, this is a killer workout by the way, everyone. And, um, but like, I think just leave it in as that. Don't try and explain it anywhere because it's just like, that's a, like, that's going to attract someone's eyes. If for 29 bucks, I'll take a chance. Yeah. Yeah. So do you like this copy on the page here? Yeah, I do. This one much, the other one I hated. I'll be honest, the Groupon what? style. Oh really? This is not nice, uh, Yeah. I don't like this. this yeah. yeah. It looks like it's photoshopped onto a machine. You know, it needs lady. to be massaged. But I like, like this. If the page looked like this, you see, that yeah, I like a lot better. Yeah. Making their buy button um, in line with their colors, because their colors are hot pink, aren't they? If I remember right. I know, no. Because yeah, the one thing right. with with button colors and stuff, there's a whole bunch more research on it. So green means oh, go. Yeah. Red means stop, right? Oh, so that's the other thing too right. is that you know right now you've got. To, I would recommend making this a green button. I don't. You don't need to make buttons align with the brand and all that kind of stuff. It's like I, that's that. That it's could be a very risky thing to do. Yeah, it's better to go with like button colors that are proven to convert. Like on my website, my buttons are green. I didn't try to match it blue and you know because then it's also going to blend into the page, right? So you want it to kind of stick out. Um, you know, here you could maybe use. But you know, pink is very girly, right? I'm also noticing yeah, I can barely can, read. Like this, I, I feel like all the content that I've gotten so far and all the pictures all cater to women. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I've only ever seen one man there, and he was a bit one of those weirdos. Oh really? So it was <laughs> mostly women that were going anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What what did they they said that was it mostly women that they said? They said mostly women for sure. Yeah. It was okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and all the all their personal trainers besides Alvin is women. Yeah. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. all the testimonials, women. So it's uh, like, all right, you know what? Like, guys just like the gym, totally. I mean, that makes sense. I'm mean, sure. Why not? I, I wouldn't mind trying this out. You know, hey, maybe let's all go, Nicola. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's interesting, Kelvin, yeah. because then you know, like. Women, um, there's a lot of gyms that have women only sections because women are more comfortable uh, working out around other women and not with men. And so it might even be a benefit to put on here, like something like, we have to talk to her about it, right? But something like yeah. join the women's only session or something like, you know, make it for women in that case. That way more women will say, this is for me, right? But, you know, we have to chat with her and make sure that that's cool. But if it's true, if like 95% of her customers are women, then this should just be a women's gym, right? Yeah. So, but I don't know if that's true. So we have to, you know, ask her about that. But anyways, guys, okay. uh, we're going uh, way over time here and I've got a jet. So I apologize. But uh, great work, Calvin. And thank you, uh, Nicola, for that, uh, for that input. That's actually very valuable. Um, yeah, thank you. yeah, so thank you everyone for attending this session.